The content shown in this video are just for the knowledge. The field engineers, all employees, contract labors who are all connected with the railway works should follow the course manuals and instructions issued by the RDSO and railway board from time to time for the safety of the trains. Welcome and welcome to PV Engineers YouTube channel. In this video, we can see about what are the bridges available in Indian Railway and what are the types of girder bridges used in Indian Railway. And we can see what are the components used in girder bridges. This is one of the important bridges in Southern Railway. First, we can see the basic types of bridges according to span or opening as per Indian Railway's bridge manual. When clear opening is less than 12 meter or total linear waterway is less than 18 meter, bridges are called minor bridges. Where clear opening is more than or equal to 12 meter or linear waterway is more than or equal to 18 meter are called major bridges. And linear waterway is more than or equal to 300 meter or total waterway is more than 1000 meter square or important bridges. Next you are watching the basic components of bridges. First one the basement of bridge is called foundation and both the end of the bridges are abutments. The inner columns are called piers. The distance between piers are called opening or span. The foundation, pier and abutment and bed blocks are called substructures. Bearing girders and track structures are called superstructures various types of bearings are available rollers rockers and sliding bearings are some of bearings inspection and maintenance of track structure is done by jnsse of pv and substructure and superstructure are inspected and maintained by works and bridge department based on importance The types of girder bridges are deck type girder bridges, semi through type and through type girder bridges. In this bridge, the deck type and through type girder bridges are combined in the same bridge. When comparing the both the bridges, the through girder is lesser breadth than the deck type bridge. You can see here, length of the channel slipper is less than the deck type bridge. In this bridge, 19 plate girders and one through girder is combined for about 450 meters of bridge. Each span is maintained as 19.5 meters. Here you can see the end of the girders are placed on piers. Now we can see the components of girder bridges. The main component is hook bolt which is used to, to hold the girder with channel sleepers. The shape of the arrow should face the rails. And two types of sleepers are used in girder bridges. One is steel channel sleeper, other one is H-beam sleeper. In this bridge, ISMC 150 and 175 steel channel sleepers are used. Canted bearing plates are used on rail seat area. Connected with the top flange of steel channel sleepers and riveted. 
rail free fastenings should be used in bridges so that head type t bolts with spring washers and nuts are used with inner and outer clips it allows longitudinal movement of the rails and it should not allow lateral movements and 10 mm grooved rubber sole plate is used between rail and sleepers short welded rail panel is maintained here minimum 26 meter rail panels that is two rail panels are maintained two rail panels and also three rail panels are maintained here clear spacing between channel sleeper is 450 mm and clear spacing between joint sleeper is 200 mm next we can see about the guard rails guard rails should be placed all the girder bridges and major and important bridges we provide the serious damages during derailments and also to protect the fob and rob's the guardrail always 6 feet straight from the from the ballast wall and 16 feet splayed and bent towards buried in the center of the ballast and wooden block should be provided on the center guardrail should also be provided with fastenings t type head, head bolt and rubber sole plate also The clear distance between guard rail and running rail is 250 plus or minus 50 mm. Here running rail is 60 kg rail and guard rail is 52 kg rail. Only on the through guard bridges the guard rail should be splayed on both the ends. Other than through guard bridges the the splaying should be done on facing direction. The other end of the guard rail should be should be bent and buried in the ballast and wooden block should be provided on the center and trolley refuge should be provided on 100 meter if span is less than 100 meters if span is more than 100 meter the trolley refuge should be provided on each pier bridge watchman should be provided on all important bridges guard guard bridge mein kya kya problem aata hai nut bolt loose ho jata hai rubber plate bahar nikal jata hai wo bolt loose ho jata hai ye sab tight karna padta hai theek hai tight kare ye loose hai to tight kare ha to loose hai na The major problems of girder bridges are the rail free fastenings may be loosened and the GRSP may be slipped out. Not only these problems, any problems are raised on girder bridges frequently attended by the bridge watchman then and there.